Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, uh, packet switching simulation. This packet tracer activity is from uh, Internet of Things. Here we can see the scenario. Packet tracer is a fun, take home, flexible software program that allows you to experiment with network behavior, build network models, and ask what if questions. In this activity, we will explore an example of how Packet Tracer can serve as a modeling tool for representing an internet connection to Facebook. They are given a note also. This document is a supplement but not a replacement for the video demonstration. The video demonstration is the primary source for how to navigate this activity. Coming to the task, open the Packet Tracer, Packet Switching Simulation A. Dot .pka file so this is the file what we opened already here uh, click smartphone then desktop tab then web browser so we will uh, search for the smartphone in this uh, packet tracer here we can see uh, our smartphone we are going to click on that here we can see desktop tab then web browser Enter the URL www.facebook.com and click go. The web page should appear. If not, click fast forward time several times to force the network to quickly converge. Then try accessing www.facebook.com again. Right, so coming to our URL, here we are going to give the URL www.facebook.com and go. And here we can see symbol uh, Facebook page here we can see our uh, uh, Facebook page next is a uh, click each of the cloud icons to view the more complex networking paths inside click the internet exchange to look inside then click back so internet exchange cloud here we can see that internet exchange cloud we will click on this and here we can see that a complex network different routers and here we can see the details an internet exchange point is a physical infrastructure through which internet service providers that is ISPs exchange internet traffic the primary purpose of an IXP is to allow networks to interconnect directly via the exchange rather than through one or more third-party networks. The advantages of the direct interconnection are numerous, but the primary reasons are cost, latency and bandwidth. Now we will come back. Right. Next is a click the internet core to look inside. Then click back. Here we can see Internet Core. We will click on that. And here we can see the complex network. So the Internet Core or Backbone refers to the principal data routes between large strategically interconnected networks and the core routers on the Internet. These data routers are hosted by commercial, government, academic and other high capacity network centers. The internet exchange points and network access points interchange internet traffic between the countries, continents and across the oceans of the world. Now we will come back from this internet core uh, cloud. Right and here we can see the next one. Uh, click the Facebook data center to look inside then click back. Here we can see Facebook data center. We'll click on that and here we can see the details a data center is a facility used to house computer systems and associated components such as telecommunications and data storage systems 
It generally includes redundant or backup power supplies, redundant data communications connections, environmental controls, example air conditioning, fire suppression, and various security devices. Large data centers are industrial scale operations using as much electricity as a small town. Right, so we will come back from this uh, cloud. Next we will see close the packet tracer, packet switching simulation A.pka file and open the packet tracer, packet switching simulation B.pka file. Now we are in a packet tracer, a packet switching simulation B.pka file. Next is a click fast forward time until you see the time increment to at least 5 minutes. Right. So here we can click that fast forward time. So that this is a time uh, at least uh, above 5 minutes. Here we can see that. Right. Next is a maximize your window if necessary. Use the horizontal and vertical scroll bars to view all the devices in the network. Next is uh, click simulation and change the simulation panel settings. Click edit filters and then click show all to turn off all protocols. Then we have to select only ICMP and HTTP. Adjust the speed of the play controls. Then close the simulation panel but remain in simulation mode. Here we can see the mode, so now it's in a real time and now we can move it to simulation, here we can see that and here is a simulation panel, uh, here we can click on this show all or none so that here we can see even list filters, visible events are none now we can edit these filters and here we can give HTTP also we can give ICMP and here we can see even list filters, visible events are HTTP and ICMP only. We can close this simulation panel and still we are in simulation mode. Next is send a ping to www.facebook.com. Click smartphone, then desktop tab, then command prompt, then enter the command ping space www.facebook.com. Then minimize the smartphone window. Then click auto capture or play to watch the ping packets travel from the smartphone to the Facebook servers. When the ping echo replay returns, sorry, returns from the Facebook servers, notice how the packets take a different path. Right, so we will uh, ping to uh, this www.facebook.com and uh, uh, we will check it. Here I am going to maximize this window. Right, and uh, here we can see our uh, smartphone. We will click on that smartphone, desktop, command prompt, and here we will give that command ping www.facebook.com and press enter. Here instead of auto capture or play, I am going to click capture or forward. Here we can see the packet generated on this uh, smartphone. So once we click on this capture or forward, we can see one by one uh, it goes to uh, different different devices. Again we will uh, click on capture or forward. Here we can see it goes to this access point. Then again capture or forward this ICMP packets uh, goes to this uh, LAN switch. Capture or forward goes to gateway. Capture or forward. Here we can see it goes to this ISP router. Capture or forward. Here we can see it goes to this uh, core router 3. Core router 4. Edge router 2. Internet exchange edge 1, then to this router, 
internet exchange 8g2 goes to this router here we can see that we can see the path this icmp packet takes now we can see it goes to this uh, fb gateway goes to the switch and here we can see it goes to this facebook too now we can see the acknowledgement back to uh, the smartphone capture or forward it goes back right Let's go to this FB gateway ISP core 6 now we can see uh, it takes a different way to back to this uh, smartphone we can see that yes capture forward so it reached to ISP router gateway land switch access point and back to smartphone and here we can see we received the first reply uh, from this uh, Facebook once more we will try it here we will give auto capture or play Core router 4 goes to edge router 2, then it goes to internet exchange edge 1, and here we can see then it goes to internet exchange core 1, then to this internet exchange edge 2. ISP core 1 ISP core 2 then goes to ISP core 5 ISP core 6 then it goes to this FB gateway reach to Facebook data center and here we can see it reached to uh, Facebook 2 server and it sent back this acknowledgement to our smartphone
now we can see this icmp uh, acknowledgement back to smartphone here we can see the tick now we can see the reply status here so we received one more reply here so in the same way uh, we have to get two more replies you know we are not going to continue with that right uh, investigate the packet switching simulation b.pka file on your own right so that's all in this uh, packet tracer activity uh, packet switching simulation uh, from internet of things well friends if you have any doubt comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you will get latest uploading video info directly into our gmail Thank you.